Good morning, everyone. My name is Scott Whitlock, and uh, on behalf of everyone at Kennesaw State University, we want to invite you here uh, to the Bobby Bailey Complex for a, a most important day in the history of our athletic department. Uh, on, on behalf of the entire Owl Nation, we want to thank everybody for attending this event. This is the formal introduction and the meet and greet reception for our new athletic director, Vaughn Williams. Joining me uh, this morning up front is uh, Dr. Dan Papp, president of Kennesaw State University, Dr. Tom Keene, who was the chair of the athletic director search committee, and of course, Vaughn Williams. Uh, right now, I'd like to turn it over to Dr. Keene, who uh, served as the chair of the committee, as I said, and uh, I'd like for him to, to address you this morning and talk a little bit about the process. So, Dr. Keene. Thank you, Scott. Uh, welcome, everyone. Thank you for being here. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood <laughs> in more ways than one. Uh, my remarks will be brief. I am well aware that we're all here to uh, meet and hear from our new athletics director. But let me begin uh, today by thanking the members of our search committee. Um, it turns out a lot of very well-qualified people thought the athletics director job at Kennesaw State was a great career opportunity. We had a tremendous pool, deep, wide, and high quality. And the nearly 100 people who officially, formally applied, generated a tremendous amount of paperwork that our committee had to wade through. So permit me to take a few minutes to introduce that uh, hardworking and wonderfully collegial group of people who made up our search committee. I'll, uh, I'll do the, the individuals in alphabetical order, and uh, if we would, could keep the uh, applause to a minimal level <coughs> until we're done, that would speed up the process. Uh, first, J.C. Bradbury, Associate Professor of Health, Physical Education, and Sports Science. Joan Dominic, Associate Professor of Communication and Coordinator of the Senior Year Program. Rick Franza, Associate Professor of Management and Chair of the Department of Management and Entrepreneurship. Rob King, Head Coach of our superb KSU women's soccer team. Louise Lawson, Professor of Statistics in the Department of Math and Statistics. Matt Nagy, KSU student athlete. Uh, member of the Owls golf team, Teddy Parrish, uh, KSU Foundation trustee, principal and director of investments for the Hensler Financial Group, Rick Siegel, KSU Foundation trustee and executive director of Cardiovascular Medicine, Inc., Kat Tarvin, KSU student athlete in the Owls softball team, Cat throws left-handed smoke, <laughs> <coughs> and, she, and she's going later today, so let's wish her good luck. <clears throat> uh, and finally, uh, Valerie Val Whittlesley, Associate Vice President for Academic Affairs and Professor of Psychology. Looks like Val's not here. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please uh, give a round of applause to all these hardworking people. <laughs> I wanted also to say a little bit about the process we followed. We wanted to cast our net wide. To begin with, the diverse makeup of the committee itself represented an important effort by Dr. Papp to reach out to a wide range of stakeholders on campus and beyond. Likewise, in defining the position and wording the formal job ad, we sought to look far and wide for input and for strong candidates. I should add also that in all of these early efforts and in the massive job of assessing candidates that followed, we had tremendous support from Parker Executive Search, a leading global search firm. And while I'm naming names this morning, I want to extend the committee's special thanks to Amanda Barfield and Lori Wilder of Parker Search. They did a great job and were a tremendous help. 
So what sort of individual were we after in filling this position? Athletics director is an extremely demanding job, and our wish list was a long one. We were certainly looking for an outstanding individual, one who knew how to run a Division I athletics program, who could help us build and shape a, very probably a football program from the ground up. But this wasn't just about football. It's about a lot more than that. We also wanted an individual who could help us build up the infrastructure of personnel and facilities at KSU so that KSU teams in every sport we play could compete for championships on a consistent basis. And we wanted someone besides who could move toward those goals without ever forgetting that the word student comes first in the term student athlete. In addition, we wanted an athletic director who would reach out to our KSU fans and to the community and make connections there on a personal level. And finally, we wanted an AD who could command not merely the respect of our coaches and our student athletes, but one who could inspire their loyalty and call forth their utmost efforts, both on the field and in the classroom. In short, we were looking for a leader. In my experience, it often happens that in searches, those who look good on paper don't turn out so well when the interview stage comes. That was emphatically not the case in this instance. The man Dr. Papp is about to introduce to you this morning emerged very early as one of the strongest candidates in what was an extraordinarily strong field. When we met with him as one of nine semifinal candidates, he made a powerful impression. I well remember a committee member's comment when he left the interview room. The comment was, that guy just exudes integrity. When that guy came to campus a few weeks later as a finalist and visited with a wide range of people, we found he made the same sort of positive, even powerful impression on people from across the campus. So for all of those reasons, it was with great enthusiasm that our search committee passed on the name of that guy, that individual, Mr. Vaughn Williams to Dr. Papp as our top recommendation for KSU's new athletics director. Uh, and now let me uh, welcome Dr. Papp to the microphone to formally introduce our new director. Thanks. Thank you, Tom, and thank you also for the fantastic job that you did uh, as chair of the KSU Athletic Director Search Committee. And by the way, Tom also is providing great leadership uh, as chair of the KSU Athletics Board as well. Uh, sometimes I have to keep reminding myself that Tom's day job uh, is really professor of history and also interim chair of the university's Department of History and Philosophy, uh, which by itself is a, is a full-time job. So uh, somehow Dr. Keene has managed to convert 24-hour days into 36 and even 48-hour days. So thank you, Tom. Uh, I also want to thank, uh, as Tom has already done, uh, everyone on the Athletic Director Search Committee uh, for all of their hard work and contributions in bringing us to this point where we are today. Uh, and I'd like all of the students, administrators, and faculty members uh, and community members uh, of the Search Committee to stand one more time together so that you can uh, receive our applause and thanks once again. Come on, Captain. <laughs> And I'd also like to recognize one other individual who's in the room, uh, coach and, and former uh, athletic director of the University of Georgia, Coach Vince Dooley. Coach Dooley. Uh, I also want to thank and to acknowledge 
the tremendous job that interim athletic director Scott Whitlock has done for this university over the course of the last nine months. Scott was already doing a great job as KSU's senior associate athletic director and head softball coach uh, when I asked him to step up to the plate, pun, ten, pun intended. Uh, he was already wearing two hats. I asked him to put on a third hat, and he did not hesitate to put on that third hat as interim athletic director. Scott, please stand up and uh, <laughs> so we can Uh, we will forever be grateful to Scott for the guiding hand that he has provided over the course of the last nine months. Uh, and I would thank all of you who are here today as well, uh, trustees, faculty, staff, students, uh, members of the uh, local community for turning out today to meet KSU's new athletic director. It was just a couple of years ago in 2009 uh, that KSU's athletic program made the long and difficult but ultimately successful transition from NCAA Division II uh, to NCAA Division I. Uh, we are now ensuring that we have state-of-the-art facilities uh, and the essential resources to compete on a regular basis and a successful basis in the top tier of intercollegiate athletics. Uh, we're also embarking on a multi-million dollar fundraising campaign that will make football part of the KSU athletic portfolio uh, and that we will also expand our uh, women's sports programs via Title IX as well. Uh, the person who will lead all of these important initiatives is KSU's new athletic director, who I'm proud to introduce to you today. Vaughn Williams joins us from the University of Connecticut, where for the past six and a half years, he served as associate athletic director. I understand that there was a little bit of excitement uh, up on the UConn campus last week after the Huskies won the uh, uh, NCAA National Basketball Championship. Uh, our timing was pretty good. We an announced Vaughn as our athletic director the day after UConn won the national championship. So I don't know how you pulled that one off, Tom, but uh, <laughs> that was pretty impressive. Vaughn brings more than 17 years of NCAA Division I senior athletic administrative experience to KSU. At UConn, he has been responsible for strategic planning, uh, for facility master planning, and policy and procedure improvement. He also chaired UConn's Sportsmanship, Fan, Environment Initiative Committee. And he brings a wealth of experience in team building, in compliance, in fiscal responsibility, in administration and management, in academics, in fundraising, and in marketing to Kennesaw State in his new position. In short, Vaughn Williams is the perfect person to grow and develop Kennesaw State's athletic programs. Vaughn is also a former student athlete. Uh, he is a four-year football letterman at UMass, uh, and he believes strongly, as does everyone at KSU, in the importance of athletes succeeding in the classroom as well as on the field. As we set our sights on becoming increasingly competitive in the top tier of intercollegiate sports, we need Vaughn Williams' leadership in the athletic director's position at KSU. And now, with no further ado, let me introduce to you our new athletic director, Vaughn Williams. Vaughn. I love the black and gold, let me tell you. I love the black and gold. It is my pleasure to be with you this morning in Kennesaw, Georgia at Kennesaw State University. I want to begin with some thank yous. Members of the Kennesaw State University who assisted in this process, Dr. Tom Keene and the search committee, and those that arranged this event this morning, Arlethea Perry Johnson and her staff. I also want to thank the athletic department, the coaches, the staff, and the student athletes. I want to thank you, all of you, being for being present today and showing your commitment to the mission of this university. 
Special thanks to my wife and my three kids uh, who have gotten every book on the owls that they know. <laughs> and a special thanks to Scott Whitlock for really what President Papp said, uh, keeping the ship solid in the last nine months. And I'm very appreciative to that. But more important on this day, I want to thank President Papp for his leadership in this entire process and offer to be your next Director of Athletics. It is with great pleasure that I accept the position as Director of Athletics at Kennesaw State University. And I want to spend just a few more moments to share some thoughts with you about my arrival. As I prepare for this meeting today, I reflected back on my 21 years of intercollegiate athletic experience, that being a student athlete at the University of Massachusetts, my stops at the University of Utah, the University of Toledo, Boston College, and UConn. I have left a campus with a national championship basketball team, which I am very proud. But more important than that, I leave behind Jeff Hathaway, the director of athletics who influenced my career and gave me a special opportunity. I've also worked with Boston College for another outstanding individual, Gene DiFilippo, who I appreciate. And I would also like to acknowledge Dr. Chris Hill at the University of Utah, who at the age of 23 gave me my first opportunity in college athletics. And there are more and many great people across this country that have made this moment possible, and I want to thank all of them as well. But today, I'd like to leave you with one word, and that is opportunity. The word means a combination of circumstances favorable for purpose and a time, and we have an incredible opportunity at Kennesaw State University. We have an opportunity to work with strong university leadership, President Papp and a strong team of faculty and staff, an opportunity to become a national university with a strong direction. Next, we have an opportunity to advance the athletic programs. Great opportunities are everywhere. I know that comprehensive excellence may not happen overnight, but I know we have the opportunity to be excellent in the next class we take, in the next community that we serve, and the next shot or goal that we take. We can advance excellence in all of these ways. No matter where we are, we have an opportunity to excel. And one of my very first jobs is to get to know all of you, the university community, staff and faculty, to assist in this process. We have the opportunity to engage with our student athletes, and I mean student athletes. I'm a former student athlete myself, and near and dear to my heart are the 260 student athletes at Kennesaw State University. They are the sons and daughters of our community. And we have a commitment and our mission to provide them with the very best academic, and I mean academic, and social and athletic experience possible. I look forward to meeting, working, and cheering for all of our Kennesaw State University athletes. We have an opportunity to plan for an even better future. There are 100 moving parts in intercollegiate athletics, and a cornerstone of all planning will be our commitment to the educational mission of the university and our commitment to doing things the right way. And we have an opportunity for me to make this home with the people that matter the most, my family and my new KSU family in this room. I am thrilled for this opportunity. Special recognition, and help me get through this, for one person in this room. While President Papp said yes to me, a few short days ago, I want to recognize one person in this room that said yes to me nine and a half years ago. Her name was 
Eileen Lacey, and her name now is Eileen Williams. And she is my soulmate and my teammate. She is the love of my life. We have three healthy and beautiful children, and not a day goes by that I don't thank God for them. She is the reason I get up each and every morning, and I can never dinner without you. Thank you. I practiced that six times yesterday. <laughs> I couldn't be more proud to be wearing black and gold and be at Kennesaw State University. I couldn't be more proud to be working with President Pratt and the KSU family. In closing, I look forward to seeing and meeting with all of you and getting to know you. I can't wait to get to work, and I promise we are going to take full advantage of this opportunity. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a few things we want to present to Vaughn uh, as he starts out this mission here. I think there's a few things you may want to add to your wardrobe <laughs> uh, in there. Uh, so you can get that hat on. And uh, if I think the president and Dr. King would come in a little bit closer, I think they want to get a picture of him with that hat on. Get it on there, Vaughn. And also at this time, we'd like Eileen to join us up here. We have something for her as well. Eileen, I think I was told you wanted to give about a 30-minute speech. <laughs> no? No? <laughs> well, at this time, we would like to open up the, uh, the floor for questioning uh, from the media and interest parties. So uh, I'm going to try to act as moderator, but uh, please feel free now to ask any questions of the group that you might want. Yes, sir. Well, first, uh, we're going to have to hire a basketball coach. And uh, I think everybody knows that process is on their way. Uh, the next, we're going to have to evaluate the current systems. And I've spent time. Uh, I feel like we're in good shape with our academic support. I think we have the right people there. Uh, but really, it's about the leader that we're about to hire that believes in the values of uh, KSU. And that is, uh, with all, all sincerity, that we would do things the right way. Uh, we would get the student athletes that want to go to class and want to do what they have to do in the community and want to do what they have to do on the court as well. So the right leader is what we're going to be after. You always did ask the hard questions when I was on campus. <laughs> but I, but I, I really think it's just about getting to knowing people and getting to first build trust. And that is to build relationships across campus, faculty, staff, students. I'm looking forward to meeting as many students as I can tomorrow at the baseball game. But it starts with trust, okay? Uh, this thing, uh, 
it's a, it's a great opportunity. And if so much work has been done to this point that we're just gonna take that and move forward with it. So it's about everybody in this room working collectively. Uh, we will be transparent, uh, we will be trustful, uh, people will be a part of this process. Uh, our move uh, to excellence will be a part of the university mission, not a part of Vaughn Williams' mission. Uh, so a lot of you are gonna get to know me, whether you like it or not, okay? I plan on visiting across campus, all those things, and finding out the best that this college has to offer. Thank you. Repeat the question, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, uh, you know, that's always going to be our goals, but not just for basketball. That'll be our goals to be champions in the classroom and in the community and on the field. So that's going to be our goals for all of our programs. I would like to interject that our uh, within our club sports, uh, our competitive cheer team just won its, uh, I think, its second consecutive national championship recently. So uh, I saw Laura St. Ange in the back. And, uh, we're going to try to, for those of you who can't hear them, we're going to try to repeat the questions that come this way where everybody can hear what was asked. So uh, uh, you had your hand up next, sir. The timetable for the basketball coach search. Uh, as soon as we right find the right fit for Kennesaw State. Uh, it's not something to be rushed, but we wanna do our due diligence and get the right person here as quickly as we can for our student athletes. That is very, very important. But I had a great meeting with them yesterday, and I think they understand uh, what our timeline is and what we're, what we're up against, and we're trying to make sure that uh, everybody understands that. You want one-on-one -on -one time with me later? <laughs> well, I, I see uh, you call challenge, I say opportunity. And that will be the word that we will use uh, throughout the department as we use it throughout the university. But it's an opportunity. Uh, I think we, we have a very great opportunity and things that we have not even tapped into yet. So I think it's about building relationships and letting more people know uh, what we're doing here on this university. Once again, you know, uh, the word I heard from a lot of people was once we get them here, they love it. And we need to show them the beauty that this campus has to offer. And so uh, I think that will happen in time. If there are uh, no more immediate questions, the rest of the morning will unfold as such. Uh, there's going to be a, okay. Well. Well, I mean, I. I have a lot of mentors and I have a lot of advisors. I've learned from many coaches. Uh, I've learned from many administrators. I've learned from my peers and those that I even uh, that work for me or work with me. Um, you know, Jeff Hathaway has been a big influence in the last couple of years of my life. Uh, Chris Hill gave me a tremendous foundation. He's one of the longest standing athletic directors in Division I at the University of Utah. And, uh, a math major, so he gave me the ability to count numbers. <laughs> and um, and uh, there's a host of them. From, there's a host of them, Gene DiFilippo, uh, all about team building, uh, synergy, uh, the importance of character and people. Um, it, it, it extends across this country. From Keith Tribbles to the Ward Manuals to so on and so forth. Uh, I've been, had a lot of support across the country with this hiring, so I feel like I have a lot of allies uh, that are gonna help us to succeed at the university, at the athletic department. Any further questions?
Okay, we need, yes, Arleth, yeah. Okay. I haven't, uh, I haven't been here in quite some time to live. I lived here for a quite quick, quick uh, bit when I was uh, out of college, but uh, I'll trade the hundred degree heat for eighty-five inches of snow any day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What we're going to do now? We're going to take a few minutes. There's got to be some stage photos taken both in this room and out on the balcony. We would invite the members of the media that do want some one-on-one -on -one time to, to remain here inside this room, and we would invite all our friends and guests uh, to go ahead and begin the lunch portion of the meet and greet downstairs and outside in the lobbies here. And uh, the members of the, uh, the panel here uh, will join you as quickly as we possibly can. Thank you so much for your attendance, and uh, again, Vaughn, on behalf of all of us, uh, at Kennesaw State and that live within the Owl Nation. Uh, we're just so glad to have you with us now. Thank you very much. <laughs>